Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through may apply to everyone. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What do we need to know? I'm constantly being reminded of you. You are always on my mind. Are you constantly being reminded of your person? You guys watching the reading? Are you seeing things throughout your day or even in the evening that are reminding you of them? Your person is as well. Those signs and synchronicities that you are getting from the universe, they do work both ways because you mirror each other. You reflect the same energy to each other. And if you are seeing things that remind you of your person all the time, the way the universe works, they will be seeing them as well. No matter what that is, number sequences, the kind of car they drive. They see the kind of car that you drive. If you do have a car, please only take that if it resonates. Seeing your name, hearing your name, seeing someone that reminds them of you, the kind of clothes that you would wear, they see that as well. Seeing your birth date, the date of your first date, an anniversary date, your person is being bombarded with signs from the universe, just like you are. And this is their big clue that it's time. It's time to start acting on what they have been thinking and feeling. It is time to do and get up and start moving towards you to start reaching out to you so the two of you can open the lines of communication here and get this relationship moving forward again. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to reveal about this person? I know in my heart that someday we will be together again. Yes, and you probably believe that as well. Your person believes in their heart. This tells us something major here. I know in my heart, in their heart, does fear live in their heart? No, that is something that only exists in their head. They are letting go of all of their fears, their illusions, their chaos, their conflict, whatever else was holding them back. And they are trusting what they feel in their heart, which is where their soul is. They are trusting their heart and trusting their soul and knowing that you will be together again. What do you feel within you? What is your heart telling you? What is your soul whispering to you about this connection with your person? Do you believe that you will be together again? Your person does. That's what they're saying here. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? I know you're the one for me. This is true love. Well, yes. Your person does know. They've always known. You have always known as well. You felt that in your heart and in your soul. Well, both of you did the first time you met. You felt that click, that spark, that warmth, those fireworks, that electricity that was going back and forth between the two of you. And you knew, both of you did, in that moment that this was true love. And perhaps your person wasn't ready for true love when the two of you first met, for whatever reason. But during the time you have been in separation, they have gained a greater understanding and awareness of what true love is and about this connection as well. And their part that they took in creating so many problems, they have been awakened to that as well. And they want to make reparations for that. They do want to apologize for that. They know that you are the one for them, just like you know that they are the one for you. What else do we need to know for this reading today, please? What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? I just can't seem to get over you. Well, no. How could this person get over you? You're the one for them. They're constantly thinking about you, being reminded of you, being bombarded by signs and synchronicities from the universe. 
Not that they need them because they're thinking about you all the time by themselves. But your person can't get over you. And you know what? Honestly, for some of you, maybe this person did try. Try being the key word to get over you. But they couldn't. Maybe they did try going out with someone else. Maybe they did try having a relationship elsewhere. But it has not truly worked for them because you're the one. Maybe they tried to do other things to move on from this connection, burying themselves in work, working out nonstop at the gym, and doing other things to try and forget you and shut this connection down. It is impossible because your person can't get over you. What have you tried to do to get over your person? Have you tried going out with someone else? Have you tried just being really busy and focused on other things, but yet... You can't get past this. You can't get past this person because there is something holding you in this place with this person. And that is the universe. That is your souls holding this space for each other because you are the one for one another. The universe knows it. The powers that be know it. Your angels, your guides, everybody knows it. You're constantly being reminded of them by the powers that be. The universe is trying to bring the two of you together. But just because you haven't heard from this person, don't think that they have forgotten you. You haven't forgotten them. They can't get over you just like you can't get over them because there is still more to this connection than where the two of you left it when it ended. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. Everything always happens for a reason. That's how I know this separation was all planned to bring us closer together in the end. And yes, that is part of your journey with this person to have this separation, to have the growth, both personal and spiritual that comes from this destiny that you have with this person. But it's not over between the two of you. There's more to come. You do have a soul contract with them that you would have these experiences, these life lessons that would support your spiritual and personal growth. And they're having them as well. But this separation was part of the plan. It always was. And it always will be in every lifetime that you share with this person after this one, because that is where the true growth occurs. For most people on the planet, our growth occurs during times of, well, when we're by ourselves. That's when the growth occurs, when we're on a solo journey. But this solo journey is just a detour because eventually the paths are going to converge again and you are going to come together and move forward in union on this journey with each other. And yes, there'll be more life lessons and experiences there as well, but those will be a lot more fun than the ones that you've been having during the separation. These, these life lessons, these experiences that we have during separation from the beloved are, are difficult. But as you come to the other side of them, you realize that they were so powerful and so important for yourself, for who you are as a soul that is living on this planet. And it is difficult to have life lessons in this 3D reality where we live because the energy of the earth, especially right now, is very dense. It's not light like it is in 5D. It is pretty dense down here in the 3D reality where we live because we have gravity and all the other energy that is swirling around us. But the point here is this separation will ultimately bring you and this person closer together so that you can come into union with each other. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal. What does the collective need to know? Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person? 
strength. Yes, there is a strong connection here between you and this person. Always has been, always will be. That is why your person can't get over you and why they know that you are the one. Strength is ruled by Leo, so if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Leo, this can be a place of validation that there is a message in this reading for you, but you don't have to be a Leo for this reading to work or resonate with you. Your person sees you as someone who has a lot of inner strength. You have overcome so much in your life, and they are finding that strength and confidence within them now that they need to be able to start reaching out and communicating with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal about this person? The Page of Cups. This card tells us your person knows they owe you an apology. The colors on this card are absolutely magnificent. I don't think this card has ever come up before because I would have said that if I had seen this card before in the reading. Page of Cups tells us your person does acknowledge that they were also immature in their words, their actions and behavior in the past with you. And they don't want to be that way anymore moving forward with you. But as well, it tells us they know that they owe you an apology. The Page of Cups is a water sign. So if you or your person have sun, moon or rising in Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, again, a place of validation. But this is more your person and what they are thinking and feeling right now, that they owe you an apology, that they acted immaturely, that they need to grow up and be more real and authentic and loving with you and towards you. But the important thing to also consider with pages is that they deliver messages. So this is telling us that there is a message coming from your person. They will reach out to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? Justice. Justice is all about balance. It is all about give and take, equal give and take, and reciprocity, but it is also about this plan, this reason why this separation was planned. The Justice card is about the soul contract that you have with this person, and that soul contract was something that you put in place with this person and both of your angels and guides. Before you came down to earth, not sounding like you're coming from space or a spaceship or anything like that, guys, but this is really about the soul contract that you defined with your person before you incarnated on the planet, okay? And you have to fulfill this soul contract while you are living on this planet. That is part of your blueprint for this lifetime. Justice is ruled by Libra. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Libra, again, a place of validation. But this is very much as well telling us that your person acknowledges here that they weren't, they didn't treat you fairly. They weren't just with you. They weren't balanced in their approach with you. And they are having to find that balance within themselves as well as restoring balance to this relationship with you so they can give back to you the way that they need to, the way that they've always need to. But that will be the energy of this person as they start rebuilding this relationship with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the collective need to know about this person? What do we need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? The Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card of reunion and reconciliation, especially because there is a soul blueprint that you have to fulfill with each other. Your story with your person's not finished. There is definitely more to come. 
But the Four of Wands is also a card of celebration, a celebration of your relationship, a celebration that you're back together, of your union. Please just take that as it resonates. It could be like a housewarming party or having friends and family over because you're back together and you are starting over and rebuilding this relationship with each other. It could be an engagement party. It could be a wedding ceremony. The point here is it is about the celebration of your love for each other. And it could just be the two of you going somewhere special, having a beautiful romantic dinner with each other, having some wine, having a romantic evening, going for a carriage ride around the square after you guys are finished with dinner or going for a walk around the fountain. Please insert whatever romantic thing is in your city, okay? Or it could be going away for a wonderful getaway weekend with the two of you or just a night away so you can celebrate being back together with each other. What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? The wheel of fortune, the wheel of fate, the wheel of destiny is at work in your life in this connection with this person, guys. The wheel of fortune is the wheel of destiny, the wheel of the universe, and it is in constant motion. The wheel of fortune never sits still. It is constantly spinning, and things today may be different tomorrow because it is constantly spinning. This is the wheel of destiny and the wheel of karma. Yes, with justice, this is about the soul blueprint between you and your person and the karma that you've both agreed to have with each other. And karma is those life lessons. It is about doing what you need to do, what you have agreed to do for this lifetime. And perhaps part of the reason why this separation is taking as long as it is, and please don't hate me for what I'm about to say, is because you still need to work on something within yourself and whatever that might be. And we do have a Mercury retrograde coming up, which is a really good time for communication on the inner planes. It's a really good time for self-assessment, self-evaluation, looking within and identifying those things within us where we need work. And perhaps if you still need to work on something within yourself, as we all do, self-included, that is a perfect and excellent time to do it. But the point there is perhaps there's something that you still need to work on within yourself that hasn't fully healed, that you haven't fully released or let go of. That is perhaps holding this connection back from coming into union with your person. But the Wheel of Fortune is very much about a positive click of the wheel in the right direction. Because this card, this Four of Wands, is about longevity with your person. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person? Regeneration. That is about restoration of this connection with your person. Not sure anyone may resonate with number 46, but there it is. And if we look very closely at this tree, it is being pelted by snow and rain and sleet and ice. And there's this sense of dead foliage here because it's perhaps the dead of winter as winter turns to spring and those leaves on this tree are starting to bud and grow. This is about regeneration, which is about renewal and the connection between you and your person being restored, very much supporting that Four of Wands, which is that card of reunion as well as long-term partnership. But as well, this could be indicating something that you need to regenerate within yourselves, whatever that might be. Again, maybe some of the time that this Mercury retrograde, you can use some of that time to look within you and find if there's something that still needs work that you still need to address within yourself. And sometimes it can be buried very deep in the subconscious and we just have to find it and release it and let it go. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? Surrender 
and release. And we were just talking about release, guys, releasing these things that are perhaps holding you back. But this as well is your person releasing what has held them back, letting that crap go forever so that it no longer interferes in this relationship and surrendering. They are surrendering to the universe and to this connection because they know they can't get over you. They know that you're the one for them. They know that you will be together again. So they are surrendering all of this, this first card. I'm constantly being reminded of you. No matter what I do, no matter where I go, boom, there it is. Isn't that a song? I seem to come up with songs a lot during these readings. It might be, boom, there it is. If anybody knows who sang that song, or if that is even a song, please drop a comment. would love to know as we view the comments later, and, and we'll respond to that. Thank you so much. But this is about your person knowing that there is a divine counterpart connection here. They know that there is a reason for this separation to happen. So that in turn tells us your person knows that there is this divine connection here, that the two of you belong together, especially because we do have this strength card. They are surrendering to the universe and they are surrendering to the process that is happening here in this connection between you. And if you have not surrendered yet, truly surrendered. And what does truly surrendering mean? Letting go. Letting God, let the universe, the angels, your guides, whatever that higher power is for you, let go and let them because they do have more power than we do. And when we release our stranglehold on it, it actually allows the universe to have room to breathe. Surrender. True surrender is about just letting it go and telling yourself within yourself, if this is meant to be, it will be. I can't control it anyway, because ultimately you have no control. The only thing you can control is surrendering to the universe and the powers that be because they have the situation under control. Okay, off my soapbox now, guys. Back to the reading. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to know? What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? Wide open. Number 42, if anyone resonates with that number. But this is about your person being wide open, opening their heart. See this figure, she's facing away from us, but her heart is where all of this light is. And her heart is open to the love of the universe, the love of the powers that be, and being wide open, not only to the universe by surrendering all to the universe, but your person being open, wide open to this love that is here between you as well. That is the energy that is happening here. Your person being open to the possibilities of this connection and to this love, seeing and understanding that there is a divine power at work here in this relationship. How could they not see it? They may not have seen it before. They may not have wanted to see it, but they're seeing it now and they are acknowledging it and they are understanding it in ways that perhaps you never believed they could or would, but that is definitely something that is happening for your person. So let me grab some more cards here and we'll throw a few cards from our deck, Elemental Goddess Oracle. There is a link in the description below for these cards, as well as the message cards that are on the top row. But it's more important that we move on with this reading. And see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to tell us? What do we need to know for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Wish. Throw that wish out to the universe, you guys watching this reading, because the people upstairs your angels and guides, they are listening. And 
there seems to be this sense of wish coming up a lot in these readings as well as on the other channel. A lot of times we get the Nine of Cups in a reading, in the tarot portion of the reading, which is the card of wish fulfillment. But this as well, wish Throw that wish out to the universe, whatever it is that you might wish for. It may not even be something connected to this person or to this relationship, but something just for you. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know about this person and this connection? Action. This is about them taking action. Not just wishing, but taking action. And your person doing what they need to do to make things happen here. It is about them doing. It is about them stopping thinking, stopping reflecting, stopping taking trips down memory lane and getting up and picking up their phone and taking that action to start connecting with you to get this message to you that comes with that page of cups. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person? Trustworthy. Your person will be so much more trustworthy than they were in the past. They know they have to rebuild your trust in them, your respect in them, and they will do what it takes so you can depend on them because you're trustworthy and they see you as someone who is trustworthy and they know that they need to reflect this back to you, especially because this justice card is about equal give and take. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person? Ambition. Okay, guys, now this could be for your person being very ambitious about their work, their job, their career at the moment. Perhaps their job negatively impacted your relationship in the past. Perhaps they were a bit of a workaholic, not spending as much time with you as you desired because they were focused on their work, their job, and their career. And that creates an out-of-balance condition in your person and in your connection. So this is about them acknowledging that perhaps they were too ambitious in the past and they need to be more focused on this relationship with you moving forward. But as well, this is saying for you, you guys watching the reading, what do you wish for? Do you desire something else in your job, in your career, in your work environment? Do you have more ambitions than what you're currently seeing reflected back to you in terms of your pay, in terms of your duties and responsibilities with that job? Now is the time to manifest. Wish for that because the magician has been coming up in a lot of these readings as well as on the other channel, which is Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. If you are unaware of that channel, and I will put a link in the description for that channel a pin to the top comment as well that is coming up a lot this magician card comes up so much and that is about manifesting and manifesting for yourself what you want in your life for you so if you do have more ambition than what you're currently doing for your job for your career now is the time to throw that wish out to the universe Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? Conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. Very much the energy of that page of cups. Now, this is about them taking action to do it though. Wanting to call you, taking action to do it, doing what they need to do to make it happen. Your person does want to talk to you and they do want to start breaking the ice here so the two of you can start doing what you need to do to get this relationship, moving to this place of this four of wands, which is about reconciliation and then ultimately into union see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Inseparable. Our love is always there 
despite the diff distance. I almost said difference. Your love is always there, despite the distance that is between the two of you at the moment. That love has never gone away. It hasn't for you. It hasn't for your person because they just can't seem to get over you. So yes, you are not truly separate from each other because the love that you feel for each other makes you inseparable. And yes, it is always there. The love your person feels for you is a constant presence in their heart, just like it is for you. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today? Please, what does the collective need to know about this person? Chaser. I don't want to chase any more. Okay, guys, a card like this has never come up, but we are going to talk about it for a moment because obviously the people upstairs wanted it to come out. There was a beautiful dragonfly here on this card for those who resonate with dragonflies. All right, surrender and release. If you are truly surrendering to this connection and to everything that goes with it, you won't need to chase anymore, right? Chasing does not do you guys any good. I think I'm going to have to get back on that soapbox if I can figure out where I want to put this card. Chasing does no good. It doesn't help the situation. It actually pushes the runner further out and they will run faster and harder to get away if you're chasing them. And a lot of you guys that watch these readings do understand that and you have stopped chasing. Chasing your person is going to be exhausting because you could be looking at their social media. You could be trying to find out what's going on in their life. You could be doing all of these other things to keep up with every single thing your person does. And ultimately, what does that do for you? Nothing. It doesn't change the dynamic. It doesn't make the situation any better. It doesn't make them communicate with you. So all it really does is kind of like create this exhaustion for you. Because if you're spending four hours a day trying to figure out what's going on with this person, what are you going to do with your, where is your time for you, for your stuff, for yourself? Try to let go of the desire to chase. Because it ultimately is not going to positively impact this connection with your person. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe need to reveal? Commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. And that very much supports this Four of Wands card. Very much so, because that Four of Wands card is a card of long-term partnership, but more so the celebration of that relationship. The two of you celebrating the fact that you are together and that you are in union. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know about this person and this connection? Neglected. I failed to give you what you need. Your person knows this and they are owning that because they do believe that they failed to give you what you need and they know they should have done better. They know they should have contributed more to this relationship, which is why this justice card has shown up because your person wants to be about equal give and take with you moving forward and they won't neglect you again. They will be more forthcoming with their love, their effort, their energy and spending time with you and doing what they need to do to build this relationship. Rebuild it stronger than it was before. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Unfinished business. We still have things to resolve. Yes, 
you do. And it's not about this work here with all the laptops and all that other stuff. The unfinished business is between you and this person. And we have talked about that throughout this reading because you do have the wheel of fortune and you have justice, which tells us that there's more to your story and you still have a destiny to fulfill with each other. You do have unfinished business with one another. And that is part of this whole thing here. And your person saying, I know that this separation was planned to ultimately bring us closer together in the end. Yes, that is why it's happening. Because you are each growing, transforming, and evolving during this time apart. So that when you come back together, you will have fulfilled those portions of your soul contracts with each other. So that the relationship between the two of you has greater stability and staying power so that it can move forward into this place of the union that comes with this four of wands. And that is what your person is working towards as they work their way back to you. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light. Have a great day, everyone.